Hello, wonderful humans. Chief Nick here checking in on April 29th. I hope your week is going well and, and the day is going well. Um, I missed you last week. I was away on my uh, quarterly monk week, which is a week I take off from social media and for the most part from technology to just kind of recalibrate. And um, it was really awesome because I was able to spend this one at Forest One, which is TFC's um, community campus that's currently a work in progress near, um, it's about half an hour from Ottawa. And uh, it's a three acre piece of property, two acres of that is forested and it backs on to a provincial park with tons of hikes and it's like a, you know, mountain is kind of ambitious, right? Like the Rockies are mountains. This is like a small mountain, but there's tons of, you know, it's an hour up, an hour down, and it's really, really um, different style terrain. So it was really fun exploring there. Uh, anyway, back this week, and I got two things to mention today. And the first one is pretty exciting. It's more of a preliminary announcement, but we're putting together a course called Health 101. And it's our first digital course that we've put out uh, in a while. And so it's gonna be delivered by multiple foot nerds. Each nerd um, is gonna take a pillar of health. And the course, you know, we learned a lot from our 2019 seminar and workshop. And one of the things we learned is that, you know, people not only want the video, but they also want a worksheet to kind of work along with as time goes on. And so each of the pillars of health, it's, it's a 60 minute, um, it's gonna be 60 minutes of video and it's gonna be broken down into um, six sections, right? Like a five minute intro, 10 minutes on each of the five pillars of health, and then a five minute outro. And for each of those pillars, there's gonna be 10 minutes of a nerd telling their story about why they care uh, and really love uh, learning about that pillar of health. Um, and then giving some practical guidance on like just principles and heuristics related to that pillar. So nothing too specific, but enough to give you some tools to kind of engage with a learning process with that pillar. Um, and each uh, pillar of health, each section is also going to come with a worksheet PDF. And in that PDF, there's going to be a summary of the major points that were made uh, in the video that the nerd covered. Um, there's also going to be some reflection questions that kind of stimulate you to think of your relationship with those pillars or um, ways that you... Um, I guess challenges that you face with regards to those pillars. So get you thinking of kind of like, you know, when it comes to the pillar of food, what do I, uh, what are my challenges related to food? Or what do I feel I need to work on? Or where am I getting stumped in terms of finding a deeper understanding? So summary of the points, reflection questions. Then there's gonna be some practical uh, experiments to try. So actual directives of like, these are things you can try um, in terms of practical experiments. You can try literally tomorrow to, ex to find out, you know, what the truth is when it comes to you, your lifestyle, your body uh, in regards to that pillar. And so, and then the last one is there's gonna be resources. So it'll be a book, a video, a podcast, and an article. So four recommendations, each um, content medium. Um, of that nerd's favorite resources to explore if you want to have a deeper understanding. So we're pretty stoked about this. It's going to take a while. We really want to do this well and have it be really well thought out and produced really well in terms of video and audio quality. So I'm not, we don't have a hard ETA deadline of when it's going to re be released, but that's officially in motion and uh, really excited to give everyone updates as this uh, kind of unfolds. So that was the first thing. And the second thing is I want to revisit a topic that I had talked about a while back, which was the framework and the concept of this tree of understanding and this sort of you know really a framework is just a model a way of thinking about a certain topic and the tree of understanding as it relates to health is sort of an image that lets you know from you know going from the most foundational um, elements all the way up to the more specific elements when it comes to understanding health. And so the image that I really like, you know, I spend a good amount of time uh, in the forest, that forest one, and I, I really, you know, the, the whole architecture of forest ecosystems really, really interests me. And I think there's a lot of metaphors there for how we can design really good integrated healthy communities. And so the tree of understanding, uh, I just wanna give an update because it's kind of developed a little bit more. And so the way I'm thinking about it is that if you picture a tree, uh, it starts with the soil and the soil is your environment. So that is the people uh, that you surround yourself with. So your social environment, uh, your physical environment, um, and also your mental environment, the media you consume. So the soil of the tree, right? Not even the tree itself, but the, the medium in which the tree grows from and is affected by, which is the soil, uh, would be your environment. Then we go to the roots of the tree, which are like the anchor points of where this tree starts to grow from. 
And the three main things that come to mind when it comes to the roots of a tree are identity, self-awareness, and values, right? So all of your understanding when it comes to health is really built on, you know, in terms of what the way I, why, the way I've been looking at it, built on those three elements, right? And there's a priority sequence here, right? The soil is the most important, then the roots, then the trunk, then the branches, then the leaves, right? In terms of most importance and most foundational. So the soil is really important. The roots are super important as like a, a grounding foundation for your understanding. And then we go to the trunk. And to me, the trunk is first principles um, of physiology. So things like the body is a self-healing system. The body is a self-organizing system. Um, the said principle, specific adaptation to impose demand. The body will adapt according to the inputs you give it. So to me, the trunk is first principles. Then we go to the branches. And to me, branches are heuristics. Um, you know, things like having uh, an awareness of health concepts, um, understanding the fundamental root causes of the problems that we, that many people face, right? Not just the symptoms and the sight of symptoms and the quality of symptoms, but like the cause of the symptoms, which are very different things. And until we have a conversation about the root cause, you can't really actually solve a problem if you don't understand it and what's causing it. Okay, so the branches are heuristics. And then the most peripheral level of this tree of understanding um, are the highly specific things. So things like a specific exercise or a specific diet um, or a research study, right? These are things that are highly specific, not as applicable um, in general to more people, right? Very specific. And because they're so specific, they carry much less meaning. And the crazy thing is we spend way more time talking about the specific things than we do talking about the foundational things, right? We don't um, spend much thought energy or, t or, or spend much time talking about, you know, our identities, our, our, our values, um, our level of self-awareness to be able to actually tune into like what the body's telling us. Uh, but we spend a lot of time talking about diets and exercises and research studies. And so we've kind of got it inverted. We place a high amount of energy and importance on the highly specific, less applicable things. And we don't talk enough or give enough importance um, to the really foundational things like our environment, um, you know, the, the soil being the environment, the people that were around Around, this, the media that we're consuming, um, the physical environment that we live within, right? The, the furniture, the food around us, all that kind of stuff. And so hopefully that uh, updated framework of the tree of understanding, let's call it version 2.0, um, gives you something to work with, right? Whether you, you know, the ideal would be you take that and you make it your own, right? You um, create your own framework. It might not be a tree, it might be something else, but create a framework that gives you a macro level structure, blueprint, to be able to fill in uh, information as it comes along your health process. So um, Health 101 coming fairly soon. I don't know what that means yet, but it's gonna be a really powerful offering, I think, not only in terms of um, you know, embedding storytelling and information, but more, 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 more focusing on um, practical experiments that you can engage with and deeper learning resources if you want to continue going, right? That was something where the seminar, we get great feedback on the seminar and workshop, but one thing people really wish they had was translations into different languages, which we're going to do with Health 101 with subtitles. Uh, PDF worksheet that has a list of things that they can do, like a list of the exercises we cover in one spot. So we're gonna have a list of experiments people can try, going from really simple and small to really ambitious and big. Um, and then a list of further resources to explore. And for each pillar, there's gonna be a list of those resources. So Health 101, it's gonna be a digital course. Uh, it's gonna be awesome, I'm super stoked. We've already kind of assembled the team of nerds that are gonna be um, contributing to this project and it's like, a, it's a really badass team. Um, and tree of understanding. So hopefully you find that helpful. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for listening and I will catch you next week.